Colorado grocery stores bus leading as families across the metro prepare for the 4th of July holiday weekend. The U.S. Consumer Price Index is trending lower this summer, but many are concerned about inflation. Let's go live now to Fox 31 problem solver Shell Turner with why that is and how you can still save money on that holiday meal. Shell. Well, you know, Erica, Jeremy, this weekend it's going to be all about baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, but that stuff can get a little bit expensive. And reports show that overall groceries are up 5% now, but there's no reason to let inflation deflate your holiday plans. The 4th of July is all about the food for most folks. Burgers, dogs, uh, steaks on the grill. Fresh fruit, I like pies. But the U.S. Farm Bureau reports an Independence Day cookout for 10 people will cost on average $71.22 this year, up from $67.73 in 2023. Americans are still very much of impulsive shoppers. Um, and maybe focusing more on price and value. University of Denver supply chain expert Jack Buffington tells the problem solvers shoppers are enjoying a more competitive market. A lot of generic products are, are pretty much the same products as the branded and they can be 20 or 15, you know, 15 to 20 percent cheaper. So how do you pull off saving money while filling the holiday picnic table? Ground beef, clearly something a lot of people are going to be picking up on the fourth. The problem solvers found a way to feed a family of eight for under $30. Our team start working months and months in advance to make sure that we're prepared for the holidays. We went shopping with King Super's grocery expert, Jessica Trowbridge, filling our cart with all the basics. We've got all your barbecue essentials here. We've got hot dog buns for 99 cents each, your potato chips for $1.99, your meat, the hot dogs are $1.99 and the bratwurst are $2.99. Your asparagus, that's $1.99 a pound, and your peaches for $1.29 a pound. We even picked up some dessert. Ice cream for $1.99. All of this comes up to just under $30. $25.46 to be exact. Of course, choosing recipes that provide a high yield can help cut your bill, along with watching for discounts before the cooking begins. I do usually like do some couponing. Yeah, couponing very important. And what we did is we stuck to as many non-name brands as we could and also just really looked for those deals. Now, beef is up about 11% right now. So going with another protein like chicken can save you some money. We have to say, you know, with our grocery shopping trip, we didn't include soft drinks and alcohol. And you know that's going to add to that bill. Take a deep breath, figure out what you like, figure out what the kids like and have a great 4th of July weekend. Saul Turner reporting live in Denver, Fox 31.